everyone, so today I'm doing a first impression video on this new Becca Equiluminous Perfecting Foundation. Now, I was sent this recently, they sent me a bunch of shades, so I've got like a ton of different shades, thank goodness, because at the moment I have zero fake tan on. So I have picked out Fair and Light, hopefully one of them matches me, and then I've also got some other shades that I'll use when I'm more fake tan if I do like this foundation. I'm thinking I might be the palest shade. I don't know. They also sent me the brush, so I'll give the brush a go with it. And I'm also just going to use a normal, like, flat top brush as well. Because as I've said in the past, I hate it when you have to buy a certain kind of brush for a product. But I will give this a go just because I do have it. And yeah, as I said, we'll just use, like, a flat top face brush as well. Just so you can see if you do have one of these at home, you know, see if there's any point in actually investing in the brush. I'll put more information down below about the pricing, the shade range, all of that kind of stuff where you can buy it from. Um, I'm just going to pretty much jump straight in. I am going to prime half my face first. I'm just going to use some Stila One Step Correct. I do have like a bunch of breakouts on my chin and this one here is like a beastly asshole. So by the end of the day I'm guessing it would have like exploded everywhere. So that's not going to be the foundation's fault. That's why I was telling you that gross story. So if you're new here, my skin type is normal to slightly dehydrated. At the moment it is a little bit dehydrated. I very rarely get oily at all. So what you do with this foundation, this is what the packaging looks like. It's really, really nice sleek packaging, glass packaging. It's quite weighty. I quite like heavy packaging because it feels nice and like expensive, but it's not so good for travel, of course. So you need to kind of shake up the product. I better do both because I don't know what shade I'm going to be. And then what you're supposed to do is twist the lid until this little bit pops up, see what I mean? And then you click it. And what that's going to do is suck some of the product into the little dropper that it has. And then you undo it. Ooh, it's a little bit messy. You see how there's quite a lot of product everywhere, so just be careful. I'm just going to um, distribute this onto my hands and apparently just use a whole pump, so we are going to do that. That's how it looks. The texture is quite kind of runny, as you can see. It's really dripping down my hand. It feels nice and lightweight. So yeah, this is the shade Fair. I believe this is the palest shade they offer. I'm just going to put a few lines of this on my face. First off, I'm just going to blend out on my forehead using a flat top face brush. This is the prime side. And that's blending out perfect. That was very easy to blend. Let me zoom you in a little. I'll just do a little bit more so you can see. The coverage is kind of like a light to medium, I would say. Like it's not heavy looking at all. I can barely feel it on my face. It feels very lightweight and cooling almost. It's got like a cooling... I don't know, it's weird. Sorry if the lighting changes around a little bit. It's very cloudy today outside. It looks like skin up close. I do only have a very thin layer on though. Um, but yeah, you can't see it at all. It literally just looks like skin. So if you're a natural girl, I'm guessing this is going to kind of be one of those products for you. Okay, now I'm going to try this out. I'm just going to put on a little bit more because I feel like I'm going to need it. So yeah, it's blending out fine so far on the um, prime side. I don't really know how you're supposed to use this brush, so I'm just going to dive in and guess. I don't know. Oh, it's weird. Ugh, am I doing this right? Surely I have not done that right because that is streaky as heck. I'm just gonna keep using this. Just disregard me. Maybe there's a certain way you're supposed to use that brush. And I think I did it wrong. <laughs> I'll do some research and try it in a different video or something. Oh my gosh, my chair is so freaking squeaky. So this color is pretty good. It's a little bit orange. Put some on my neck as well. It's probably like a shade too dark. But yeah, I don't know if you can see, it's a little bit orangish. Now, I read something on a pamphlet that it's supposed to adapt to your skin colour or something. I don't know if adapt is the right word, but it's supposed to kind of transform itself. So we'll just see what happens. This chair is driving me mental. It's like... I'm just going to start putting it on the unprimed side of my face. And there's like no difference with the application. I should have used the um, backlit primer. I didn't even think about it. I have the Becca backlit primer. I bought it... I think I bought it off Beautylash. It's 
beautiful. So the finish of this foundation, as you can probably see, is quite glowy. Like, I really like the finish. The shade is definitely too orangey for me, but we're gonna roll with it. And I do feel like it's oxidized um, a little bit. I'm gonna add some more because um, I haven't quite got the coverage I want. It is so glowy. If you do not like glowy skin, do not get this. It's almost got like a reflect to it. I feel like personally I would probably mix this with like custom cover drops by Cover FX or something to get a little bit more coverage and just to dull down the glow a tiny amount because it is quite intense even for me who loves dewy skin. It's not like too shiny or anything it's just I don't know I'm not used to seeing like glow everywhere like on my forehead and everything. If you have oily skin and you want to try this you will definitely need um, some kind of mattifying primer and a good setting powder as well. Okay I love the formula it's so easy to blend. I like the coverage just for something a little bit lighter. You can't feel it on your skin. It is very glowy. It does oxidize a little bit so keep that in mind if you're choosing a shade like in a shop or whatever. I feel like up close it's a little bit cakey looking from where I built it up. I don't know if building it up was like the smartest idea. It's not very noticeable until I get really really close. From here it looks beautiful like stunning so I can't really decide yet I think once I've put on my concealer and set it then I'll have like a proper opinion on how it looks so I will do that and be right back just a quick random note I'm halfway through doing my under eye concealer um I did touch my face by accident just now and it transfers a lot like I don't really want to do this because I don't want to disrupt how my foundation looks you probably can't even see that but it does just trust me you need to set this foundation it doesn't set by itself. In saying that, the more I just let it sit on my skin, like it's been a good like five minutes, ugh, the lighting, it does look so good. So I'm already loving the finish, but we'll see what it looks like once I set and everything. Okay, so what I used under my eyes was the Becca Under Eye Brightening Concealer for the first time. I like it. And then I used Bare Skin by Bare Minerals on top of it. This is in the shade Fair, and when I'm pale, it's still like super light and highlighting. It's a really good color. Um, so I used that under my eyes, and then to set my whole face, I used the Illamasqua Pressed Powder in PF135. Now this is like a matte pressed powder, and it's quite good coverage, and I actually love the combination that it made on my skin. My skin is still so glowy, I don't know if you can see. Like, it's still picking up all of the light on my forehead and everything, but now it's like the perfect amount of glow. Like, I really, really love the way my complexion looks now. And I'm guessing you could use any powder to get that effect. I mean, usually I'd use like my MAC Studio Fix powder or something. They're very similar foundations, so if you want to tone it down a little bit, you can just use something like that. Otherwise, I would assume you would just use something a little bit lighter or like a slightly glowy setting powder or something if you wanted to keep that really intense glow but I prefer to kind of have a slightly dewy finish like I have here this is like ideal and then add on highlighter later like where I want to really glow I really like how it looks so far so I'm going to do a flash test it is currently 11 30 a.m almost we'll just test to see if it has any bounce back or anything or if the glowiness to it looks kind of oily or anything let's do that now quickly so under the flash I feel like it looks a little bit oily on my forehead like on the rest of my face it looks nice but then on my forehead it looks a little bit too like greasy looking under the flash photography so it's not my favorite it doesn't really have bounce back like SPF or anything so that was fine it was just the fact that like it reflected you know so there are definitely other foundations I would prefer for like flash photography however this just looks beautiful in person it looks super flawless now that I've set it with that powder obviously that would have added a little bit of coverage so it kind of depends what you want to pair up with it yourself but as I said I do recommend setting it because when I just touched my face it like went all over my fingers it was really kind of like slippery slimy so yeah anyways yeah it's 11 31 now so I'm gonna go do the rest of my makeup film some more videos and I'll talk to you guys later hey everyone so it is now 2 p.m or it's almost true it's 5 to 2 p.m so it has been on for like two and a half hours it looks amazing obviously I put on extra highlighter up here but my skin just looks radiant and amazing I do have to say that I accidentally like touched my face quite hard and it came off like reasonably easily obviously you're not gonna go like wiping your face all the time but I just thought I'd mention that it hasn't gone oily looking anywhere um, it has kind of sunk into some fine lines up on my forehead the tiniest amount 
I don't even know if you'll be able to see just in these two, just from my expression. And considering it's a super glowy, dewy formula, honestly, it hasn't amplified my pores that bad at all. And I definitely feel like if you paired it up with a pore filling primer, it would look even more amazing, you know what I mean? But it's definitely not bad, like I'm not disappointed. It hasn't faded anywhere or anything, so, so far so good. I'm just gonna continue with my day. I'm gonna go do some more editing and I will update you later. Peace. Hey guys, so it is now 5 p.m. So it's been on for over five hours. Five and a half hours, I think that is. And I thought I would do a quick update. I'll do one more later on tonight. But as you can see, it looks great still. It hasn't changed at all. So I thought I'd just come in here to say that it hasn't changed at all. I didn't really have high hopes for like a long lasting foundation with this because usually like real dewy foundations don't last a long time before they kind of sink into places and sink into lines. Like as I said, these two here are a little bit noticeable but they haven't gotten worse at all. And it's only if you look really closely. Like if you look at me from there, like you wouldn't even be able to see that. It hasn't sunk into any of my pores anymore. Nothing's faded, nothing's gone cakey. It looks really, really pretty. I think this foundation will be perfect mixed with other foundations. Like that's how I want to try it next because alone it looks really beautiful. Oh, someone just came home. But I feel like if you mixed it with like custom cover drops or something, as I said, it'd give you a little bit more coverage and just tone down the glow a tiny bit. Even though like, as I said with this powder, it looks great anyway. Like the amount of glowiness that I've got, I love. Also loving my highlight today. I'll put a link to this makeup look down below. I'll do a quick zoom in. Here's a quick close up of my skin texture. Hello. <laughs> What are you doing? As I said, like considering I'm not wearing a pore filling primer, they're not too bad considering this foundation being glowy. Thumbs up from me so far. At first I wasn't sure about it, but the longer I wear it, the more I like it. Hey guys, so it is now 8 p.m. Well, it's actually 5 to 8 p.m., but anyway. So I'm doing my final update. I'm itching to wash my face. I just want to go to bed, lie down, play words with friends, and watch an idiot abroad. You know how it is. At the end of the day, you're just like, so overall, it looks really good still. I do think my natural oils have come through on my face a bit more and like mixed with the foundation because on my forehead especially, it's a lot shinier. I don't know if you can tell from the last clip, but even then, like I would be happy. Um, I'll show you what it looks like if I just um, blot it. I mean, it's been on for over eight hours. So if I had to just take a little bit of powder at the end of the day, just to freshen myself up like this, like, that's a massive difference and that took like two seconds. If I do the same, I've got some lipstick just here, ignore that. And it looks brand new again. So this foundation did actually last a really good amount of time. Keep in mind, I don't have oily skin at all. If anything at the moment it is dehydrated, so it doesn't like stop oils whatsoever. If you have oily skin, you're gonna need some kind of like setting spray and some kind of really good oil primer stuff, you know. <laughs> I really like it and I'm definitely gonna experiment with it a little bit, mixing it with foundations and blah blah blah. I'm just gonna start repeating myself over and over again. If you have tried this, let me know how you go. I'm pretty happy. Like, you know, I was a bit iffy at first, but after wearing it for a few hours, I definitely, you know, I keep staring at my skin whenever I like look in the mirror, I'm just like, huh. So glowy and youthful looking. It looks really, really pretty. So yeah, that's my little review. I hope it helped you out. Let me know if you will be picking it up. Comment down below, let me know. And yeah, I will talk to you guys really soon. Bye. Hey guys, thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna watch some more of my videos, the one on the left, you can click on the screen or the link down below is in old school, get ready with me. Actually, that was on the right, ignore me. The one on the left is actually a chit chat, get ready with me. There you go. I hope you enjoy.